Hello everyone, welcome to Tech, and in this video, I'll show you guys how we can configure Valgum Weapon X server in our Ubuntu. It's very easy to configure in Windows OS, but I tried many times in Ubuntu server, but it's not quite I was expecting because every time I try, it always ends up in a failure or either the configuration is messed up. It's, it was complicated. And then I figured out a new way that we can use to install the Bepanex server in our Ubuntu which comes with pre-configured and it's very easy to use. So let's begin shall we? First off, update your existing packages. And then you may have to install 4 other new packages and those are like uh, certificates and curl and 2 more packages. The following command let you install all of these four packages in a single command line. But if you wish to install them separately, you can also do that. All you need to do is just type the sudo apt get install and you have to type h package name h time to install all of them one by one. But if you want to do just like me, like adding a new line and type more of these packages and then execute it because normally when you type a command and press enter it will directly execute it won't let you enter the second line but if you want to add a new line without executing the command just press the shift and enter at the same time and it will create a new line and once you finish writing the command line and then just press enter it will execute properly Now we are going to install docker. So execute the following commands one by one. Make sure it doesn't have any spelling mistakes, otherwise you will get error. I will try to give the commands in the description below, so you guys can copy paste it. Once we done all of this, we can update our packages. For this, we have to use the sudo apt-get update command. Now we can install our docker with this command. It's asking us to continue, so I'm going to press Y and enter. To make sure the docker is installed, we have to type this command. If you can able to see the welcome screen, that means it's installed on your server. Now that we installed this docker, we can now install our welcome server. So for this you need to enter this command, sudo space docker space pull space type this following line and press enter. Now we have to create a directory and that's where our world files are going to be saved and the bapanex folder will be there and the plugins folder will be inside of that one and that's where we are going to paste our plugins. The folder that we created can be found on the home folder. And now we have to create a welcome server container. So for that you need to use this command. And make sure to customize the server name, server password, server port according to your need. I'm actually trying to show you guys properly with this terminal. I'm trying to extend it, but uh, nope. 
the text are not properly visible but okay once you customized the command you can press enter but right now it's there like permission denied that means we have to use the sudo before that command and now it's done it's true that we can able to create docker server super easily but managing it with terminal is not that ideal every time so i'm going to create a separate container for a web interface that we can use to control all the servers including start and stop the server restarting the server and most importantly for the configurations actually it's called the arch you have to enter this command and that will install this once the installation is done you can actually visit that interface with your local ip address with the port of 8000 that we have set Let's check our local IP address. For this, I'm going to use my ifconfig command. With this command, we can able to see our local IP address and copy that IP address and we are going to paste it on our browser and we will use the 8000 port on it. You must add a colon in between the port, otherwise it won't work. Now we got the login screen for that web interface and now we are going to login with default username and password and of course you can change your password after signing in. As you guys can see our welcome server is running perfectly here. Although we have installed the server, there are some configurations we must do in order to make the mods work. So I'm going to edit this one and I'm going to click the networking. I don't want to use these extra two ports because I'm going to use the first port alone. So I'm going to remove this. And I'm going to click the continue. And here's the most important part. This is called environment. We are going to add two more values such as Bepanix. It's a case sensitive so you should add capital letter and without syntax error. This is must. I'm going to enter the Bepanix here. And I'm going to add a value true. And on the new line, I'm going to type like a server port. And on the value side, you have to enter the port. Once you've done the configuration, you can deploy it. And you must restart your container. Although we restarted our container, the WebNX folder is not actually created yet. That's because we need to join inside the server at least one time. Only then it will create all the necessary folders for it. So I'm going to use my server IP address along with the port. Even if the launch is failed, don't worry about it. It will still create all the necessary files. Actually, my recorder got a little bit of messed up, so it's laggy here. But you get the idea. As you guys can see, now we got ourselves a Bepanex and also it has a plugins folder. Now I'm going to copy and paste my plugin here. But due to some permission issues, you can't directly copy paste it. So I'm going to use my terminal to copy paste my mods here. And this one is the mods folder and this one is the plugin folder. With this command, you can actually copy and paste your plugins here. But it seems it also copied the mods folder. So I'm going to delete the extra mods folder.
perfect. Now that we copied our plugins, now we can restart our container and check the results. It seems my login is expired, so I'm going to login it again. And now I'm going to restart my container. Now if you go inside the Bapanix folder, you can actually see the configuration of some kind actually created here. That means your plugin is actually loaded into the server. And now I'm going to join inside the server just to make sure if everything is working or not. But most importantly, if you are going to use a plugins on a server, you should also load the same plugins on your local game as well. It's like both client side and the server side must contain the same plugin, same version, only then it will work. It seems the server that we created working just fine. But if you have enabled the console, if you press the F5, you can able to see this kind of message, like a debug message. Here you can see the portal mod stuff, but it's a new world so I can't able to get that item so fast, so you get the idea. Now mods are working just fine. I hope this helps you guys, I will leave some extra links in the description below. It has some more information regarding this and if you have any questions, please ask in the comments below, I'll try to respond as soon as possible. And I'll see you guys later, peace.